So how are your relationships with the other girls? Good for the most part. I sent a voice text and and congratulated Christina when I heard she was pregnant and she said thank you. We're, we're fine, I think. I think. Um, First of all, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to talk to me. I really, really appreciate it. I know you're probably very busy. It's okay. Yeah, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I just want to congratulate you. I know you just recently closed. I think it was a $3.8 million house, right? It was beautiful. Yeah, I love that house. How has it been like trying to adapt like to selling houses during the pandemic? It's actually been really good. Um, been the busiest time all year, uh, or like in my career, really. Over the summer, I like almost seven or eight escrows at one time. There's just so many buyers that want to look at, that are trying to buy and just not enough homes. Um, the interest rates are really, really helping. And people are looking for bigger homes and bigger spaces since they're home so much. And realtors have been swamped. And, <laughs> and so, so is Remain, actually, because he does, um, he does he's project management and, and like remodels. And so if people, whether they're getting ready to list and they need like a revamp or once they buy, they want to remodel, or if they just stay in their home and want to add a pool, add like different features since they're there so much, he's been absolutely swamped. So I did a lot of research on Jason and the first thing that came up was like, he went to Berkeley, he taught at Berkeley, he argued in front of the Supreme Court. Did you know um, Jason when he was an attorney? Yeah, he has been, um, I've known Jason for 15 years. So he was an attorney when I first met him. So like is attorney Jason and like real estate Jason different people? (laughs) Um, Jason's always been ambitious. Um, I think he's a happier person now. We weren't as close back then as we are now. Um, I I knew him, had been around him. We were friends, but, um, but now he's like one of my like closest best friends. You are my best friend, so. One of. Well, you and Amanda are like, are pretty uh, close. And so um, I think he's just happier. He's more, more content and driven. I mean, he's in a, in a career that, that is his passion. He just did a TED talk that, for Berkeley, that kind of explains his whole um, path and, and how he got to where he is. And because people always want to say, how, like, how do, how do you succeed? What's the best thing I can do to succeed? He's like, work. <laughs> He's like, yeah, be focused on work. He's like, there's no quick fix. There's no uh, get rich quick mm-hmm. like um, thing. He's like, you, you work for it. You, you just absorb yourself in the situation. So if anyone, like, if you have time to watch that, it'll give you a really good insight of who he is and, um, and how far he's come and how quickly, how driven he is. So when he, I mean, he succeeds at everything he does because he just goes up 170,000%. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking at his resume. I was like, geez, like, when did you have time for all of this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he does everything in such a short amount of time. He like, he's just so brilliant. He's like one of the smartest people I've ever met. And, and he just educates himself on everything. He doesn't. He doesn't have us any, anything he does. Like, I remember like watching you guys go into a house and be like, that's cheap. That that's not refrigerated. So Amanda, I'm going to have to teach you. Oh no. This is a learning experience. <laughs> I always want you to like pick up like how much they spent. What do you notice about these doors? Okay. So those are accordion, which are less expensive than sliders. Yeah. That's when a wine you, cellar. It's not uh, temperature controlled. So you can never, this is, this is a fake wine cellar. That's so cool about selling sunset. It's like, now I know what to look for, you know, like, and I feel like that's why it's so popular because people love learning little things like that. You know, if it, if it were up to Jason, it, <laughs> it would be a lot more of that. And he finally, he kept, he kept trying to give more details about things. And, and our producer was like, Jason, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to film you doing this because no one wants <laughs> to see it. And he was like, no, but it's, it's important uh, <laughs> because he's a contractor too. He's a GC as well. So, um, so he knows how to build houses. He's never built his own, but he wants to know, um, exactly like if things are in his homes that he's building are being done right. He wants to know what's up to code, like how the height levels you have to build, (laughs) stuff like that. And it it does, it comes in handy. I'd, I'd like to get my contractor's license actually just to know some of these details. Does he have any like crazy morning routines that you're aware of? <laughs> uh, well, he, he he's a man of habit, uh, like very much a creature of habit. Uh, 
with the dogs, whenever he has the dogs, he, he is obsessed with them um, because we share custody of them. And so he goes down and he'll sit and he gets his coffee and breakfast with the dogs. And he, he just has like a certain morning routine, checks his emails, checks um, the MLS to see what's new to market. He's, he's very, this creature of habit. That's cool though. So obviously the word favoritism comes up a lot. I have to ask you about this. At the end of the day, the favoritism is never going to change. Mary, you did a great job on Doheny. I'm going to bring you on Alpine. Are you kidding me? I just feel like at times it's a little bit unfair. Um, but Jason has said you bring the most money into the brokerage, so shout out to you. Does this narrative affect your work, like affect the workplace? Does it bother you? How do you feel? About I didn't even know how that even got started. Um, Maya, and I saw Maya when we were in Miami and she was like, I'm sorry about that. I don't know how that like took on its own like life. Jason does feed Mary leads all the time. So he I does guess she doesn't have to worry about all it all the time. Well, that is for sure. Because it, and, and she knows and she, she apologized because she knows I, I actually work for myself. Jason doesn't just give me listings. Um, he actually makes money off of me more than I make money <laughs> off of him. Um, but because, uh, you know, he obviously gets a cut of all of our deals. But when they were saying that all of my deals were all mine, he hadn't given me one of them, um, like through any of this season, all summer, all of those were mine. Um, and, uh, and he is potentially bringing me on one that he told me about because he thinks I would be good. I moved to the Valley and it's uh, a big client out here, but it's also because I have uh, my connections is bringing in a very, very big um, deal in the next upcoming months. So it would be one of the biggest deals like the brokerage has ever done. And so he's like, he won, like he will reward people that do stuff like that. Plus it's convenient for him because he's not going to drive all the way to Calabasas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm closer. Me and Mary got into Escron Doheny, 9.2 yeah. million. Yes. Yeah. Oh, by the way, what an example of hard work. Yeah. So she it's sold rewarding. her own wedding venue yes. on her wedding day. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, so I mean, they, the girls say that, I think it's almost like a cop out um, and, and no broker, I mean, if you ask any brokerage, they're, if they just give their agents listings, they'd be like, what are you talking about? Why would Jason just give away money? Yeah. If it's his client, why would he just give it away? But not just our broker. He's not, he's not, oh, this is my client here. One for you, one for you. Exactly. And like, he's not over Winfrey. Like, here's, here's <laughs> listing. He's like, uh, well, I don't know where they got that. Um, but I, I think they were just being dramatic. And, and if some of the girls like see me have listings, they just assume because Jason and I are so close mm -hmm. that he gives them to me. And it's just simply not true. So how are your relationships with the other girls? Um, good for the most part. Um, Heather, Chriselle and I have become very, very close. Um, Amanda, of course, she's been my best friend for 20 years. So <laughs> that girl's not going anywhere. She's, <laughs> she will, has and always will be my best friend. And um, Maya, I just haven't really, I saw her when she was in Miami. We don't really talk that much, but I mean, there's, there, I, I love her. She's great. Um, and Davina and Christine, I haven't really talked to um, too much. I, can, I sent a voice text and, and congratulated Christine when I heard she was pregnant and she said, thank you. But that's about the most that we've really talked in about six months, but we're, we're fine. I think, I think. Um, <laughs> so I did an interview earlier where apparently she like threw me under the bus about something was making fun of me. So I, maybe not, but, um, uh, it's Christine. So, um, but as far as I knew, and as far as I'm aware, we were okay. We just don't really talk that much. We're both just leading our own lives and we're in, in, in COVID times where everyone's staying at home as much as possible. So we're not really in the office that much besides me and Jason. I bet that makes it hard to tell because it's like, you don't even go to the office. So it's like, we can't even feel how things are. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's made it, it's, it's created some distance for some of the cast members, but it, that could be a good thing for, for <laughs> some of us that don't really get along so much. It's probably a good thing. Um, Healthy distance. <laughs> yeah. But the rest of us make a point to see each other. Um, Chriselle and Heather and I went wedding dress shopping the other day and went for drinks and, and food afterwards. And, um, and we've gone on Heather and Tark's boat this summer. We went down to Orange County multiple times to hang out with them. I go out with Chriselle and stuff a lot. And we'll do like just one-on-one, -on -one, um, like, you know, get togethers with Amanda too, whenever she doesn't have the kids. There's a lot obviously going on in the Oppenheim world right now with like Heather's wedding, the new office. So obviously you can't tell us much, but 
season four is there anything you can like hint toward anything well whenever it, it depends i guess it depends on when we when we start filming um we're not really we're not really sure yet but whenever we start filming i guess I mean, Christine's obviously pregnant, so it'll have. So I'm sure that'll be part of a focus. Um, I think there's that we might include some of the other agents in the office. Um, I know last season we talked about people have asked like, why isn't everybody shown? They might um, they might show some of the other people or the staff a little bit more, and not just focus as much on us. I'm not positive on that, but I know there've been talks about that. Um, uh, Romaine and I. Um, just investing in, in more properties, doing remodels together, hopefully doing remodels together <laughs> um, if we have time. <laughs> but that's that's been what's delayed us so far. Uh, Chriselle, probably, probably just her relationships with, I don't know how much she wants to date right now. <laughs> um, but but um, that's probably what, what like, her relationship status and stuff and, and just the girls hanging out um, and seeing the, the dynamic between how we've all kind of evolved and, and how things have shifted and changed between all of uh, our um, lives and our relationships. Sounds exciting. I know we're all super excited for that. Whatever Chriselle wants to put as her storyline, where anyone's going to be super excited to watch it. We love Chriselle. I know. She's so <laughs> great. I love her. Besides Christine, she's like, yeah, you, no one else can possibly hate her. <laughs> yeah, really, you really can't hate her. Like, you can't. You really can't. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much, Mary. Thank oh, you for your time. Oh.